been a while. I won't say I'm back because then I will disappoint you for again. So yeah, this is a video about shooting with LEDs. I told you I was starting this LED journey. I did a previous video. It's, I think, a similar outfit, similar size model, but different skin color. But this time around, I built it. I built a set. That other one was just too simple, man. It felt like I was depriving myself of, you know, the whole creativity and all that. So yeah, this time around, I built a set. We have a model here, Root. Say hi to them. New addition to the YouTube channel. Right? Right. Two, three lights. Two Amarans and one G-Link light. Think one behind this backdrop just to, yeah, that went off. One behind this backdrop just to give me this strip of light on hair. This is also stripping this end to get that rim in, right? Then our 85 centimeter with an Amaran 100D to light up the scene. I'll be using the EOS R, my Sigma H5 1.4 lens adapted with a Canon adapter. Yeah, and I think that's it. No triggers today. So we are using LED lights. One good thing about using LED lights is the fact that you're able to see what you're shooting. It's real time, real life. What you see is what you get. So if you're able to control your lighting scenes, if you're able to adjust the power settings on either of the lights and where they are positioned, it's going to really bring out whatever it is you want to shoot or you want to create in the studio. So I'm still going for that dark and moody look, right? So bear with me, I'm always in that dark. I don't like a lot of lights. I just want to control them. So yeah, Roots will be model for us today. I've already introduced them, but I don't know why I'm saying her name again. But yeah, let's see what we can do. But in there, I think I'll be able to say some things about LEDs, the pros, the cons, why you should choose LED, why you should choose strokes. We'll do that comparison. Then we do what we do best. Take more videos or take more pictures, sorry. All right, so before I leave, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We're almost at 10K subscribers. I'm hoping by the time I drop this video, we are 10K, then it's be past names. But if not, let's go to 10K. I mean, some giveaway be to entice you to go to 10K. All right, let's start shooting. Oftentimes, LEDs provide a lot of color accuracy as compared to using strobes in the studio. With LEDs, whilst you're shooting, you see the colors on your camera if you're using any of the mirrorless cameras. So you like your live scene, whatever is going on, and you adjust accordingly with your white balance or with your custom white balance or what's not. But with shows, you have to take pictures, figure out what the problem is before you jump into fixing whatever problem. I mean, I know it's raw, you can adjust them in post, but make sure or pay attention to the fact that if your images or the light source you're using doesn't have a color accuracy of say 97 and above you're going to have very very bad coloring on your images with respect to how the colors are going to be registered on the camera sensor continuous light as against strobes the pros i have one which is constant light source whatever it is you see in the studio is what you're getting whilst you're shooting. Because then again, if I have the lights turned on, it's just like shooting with natural lights. All, right? all you have to do is adjust the settings to the available light source. It depends on the time of day you're shooting. But then again, when you bring it into the studio, when you bring it to con using continuous artificial light source, you are able to control the intensity of the light source. So there's much control over shooting with artificial lights with respect to continuous lights. I know there's also control using strokes, but this is continuous. You see, what you see is what you get. So it's real time, real life, what you're seeing. One good thing about using my Amaran is the fact that I'm able to turn off my fixtures. It's, there's an app on my iPhone called the Sidos Link. I'm able to connect it over the phone via Bluetooth, I guess, or via wire, Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, I'm sure it's Bluetooth. All I have to do is just control it on my phone and I'm good to go. So I'll be all the way back there. I'm not sure you're going to see me shoot. I'm going to see a model doing whatever she does and I'll be controlling the light. So the backlight, so there's a light behind this canvas backdrop. Oh, I didn't plug the canvas backdrop. I mean, anybody involved in today's shoot in the description box below will be linked. Behind this particular canvas backdrop 
it's another Amran that's giving me the strip, like I said. I enjoy it. If I turn it off, you clearly see what's happening. Let me turn off everything. All right, let me go to the main one. Okay, this is turned off. And the main light is also turned off. This is what we are seeing. I don't have the G-Link under control. I think I would have to go and turn it off over there. But yeah, this is what the G-Link is doing. It's giving me this rim on her side. I've warmed it up somewhere around 3,800 Kelvin. So it's kind of warm enough. It's trimmed in the end gradient just to give me a rim light. Then I will turn on the other strip that I'm using a V-flat to create that string light. I want it to be a hard light source. This is at 11%, right? And I like what I'm seeing. Let me take a picture like this. I'll show it on the screen how it looks like with the accent lights behind here also. So currently I'm at ISO 800, F1.4, shutter speed, 1 over 250. At this point, in my previous videos, I did mention the shutter speed doesn't matter in the studio. That is when you're shooting with strobes. By the moment you're shooting with LEDs, continuous lights, you have to account for all that. Okay, so a little closer to my EF, just like that. Let's try that one time. Okay, let's reposition this quickly. Bring it a little bit forward. And on the light, let's hope this, this LED is playing with my feelings. Don't laugh at me. It's playing with my feelings because it keeps going off. So, supposed to light my dummy model down there. So that's how everything looks with the back lights or the rim lights, if you put it. I'm going to turn on the key lights quickly, which the key light is at 50%. So they are all Amron 100 Ds. All right, 50% chin up, good. Beautiful. One last time. Okay. Another huge factor about shooting with LEDs. Uh, I mean, you would ask, why am I shooting ISO 1000? I'm only, I can only shoot ISO 1000 and not bother about noise just because I have ample light source lighting my subject, right? That's the best thing about shooting with LEDs or shooting with available light. It's constant illumination. So all I have to do is shoot the picture. Hello. All I have to do is direct shoot and I am good to go. One good factor about it also is if you're shooting with a videographer, what you see to, uh, with respect to the lighting condition is exactly what they are seeing. Just because you don't have to readjust with strobes or you don't have to shoot and let the videographer shoot later on. So whilst you're shooting, they're also shooting. It's time efficient. You're able to control how much of it you're going to see. You understand? So constant illumination, making it easier for shooting. It works for all levels of photography. Because then at the end of the day, if you're a pro, if you're an amateur, your skill level, wherever it is, at the end of the day, take a little step closer to me and chill up. At the end of the day, you're able to get a shot you're looking for. You're seeing what it, whatever it is you're shooting. Beautiful, I like that, keep it. Bring your eyeballs here by the face. Open up the lips a little bit. You're able to see whatever it is that you're shooting. Whatever you see is whatever you're getting. That's it. When it comes to continuous light, you really don't have to be a pro to figure your way out about shooting with it. Continuous lights are very easy to use and that's one of the pros for using continuous lights because then you don't have to have a master of skills to be able to understand how continuous lights work. Continuous lights 
in a way is an artificial natural light source like the sun so all you have to do is just adjust your settings to fit whatever it is you want to see in your frame so if you have it it's just like shooting with the sun all you do is adjust your lighting settings am i right so yeah that's what continuous lighting is all about so it's easy to use and anybody with any skill level at all even my assistant who is now learning photography will be able to shoot with continuous light so yeah try using continuous light in a studio